Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday just before 4.45 in the morning. I'm heading on out the door. I got a bagel and a cup of coffee, which I'll eat on my way over, but the door is open at 5, so let's get going. Let's hop in the 7.3 diesel. Let's get it warmed up here for a few minutes here. And I think I'll take a few sips of my cup of coffee and have a bite of my bagel here. But it, it definitely uh, helps to have coffee in these early mornings. With harvest season in full swing, guys, we have extended our showroom uh, services and our hours to help out our customers here. Sometimes there's breakdowns, other times uh, they're coming in to pick up parts or different things like that here. So we're just trying to help out the farmers in a pretty busy time of the year here. But it's been a lot of fun so far with this uh, John Deere dealership. And like always, guys, there is a full mods that's linked down below. And please hit the like button if you would like to see more. I am trying to bring the camera along with me a few times a week here for the John Deere dealership. You guys seem to be liking it, which is glad to see. And we do have some pretty cool ideas coming as well here. But you guys can see we got some of the new Kubota equipment out front on display there. That is a pretty cool one. But oh boy, a look at this, guys. This tractor just arrived here. So we'll hop on out. We'll take a quick look at it. This is a brand new John Deere 8RX. You guys can see this is a brand new one. Has only about 0.2 hours on it. And this is up for sale here. Look at that pretty cool tracks it definitely looks a uh, pretty sweet here as well but let's keep going we got to get the door opened it is a uh, four minutes before f uh, five in the morning here and looks like guys I thought I just saw a uh, truck here let's take a quick look yeah there is a grain truck here so let's get the door opened and we'll walk on over and ask uh, if we could give them a hand good morning farmer you're here bright and early yeah, so how can we help you today? Oh, your uh, C70 dump truck's running a little bit rough. Yeah, we could take a look at it. Even though we're a John Deere dealership, we could help you on out here. So uh, do you need the truck later on today? Okay, well, uh, we'll push this to the first thing on the list uh, when the guys come in right around at uh, 5.30. So if you want to get pulled on in and uh, you swing by later on today, it should be ready. And we'll let you know how much it costs and everything. All right, well, I'll catch you later. Well guys, a farmer just dropped off his C70 grain truck, although like I did mention to him, we are a John Deere dealership, we'll help a farmer in need here. We'll have the mechanics look at it, uh, they're used to working on diesel engines and trucks, so we should have no problem here as well. Now our, our service truck, I believe is going out to help a farmer out in a field here, so I'm not sure when that employee is going to be arriving here. But the other thing I did notice guys, I did send one of our employees yesterday, I think around like 4pm, uh, to pick up some more tractors from the Kubota uh, factory. Here we have it. We have two Kubota compact tractors. You guys can see one has a loader LA uh, 534. That is pretty sweet here. So hey, why don't we get these unloaded? I'm not sure where we should probably put them. Hey, why don't we just put them right out front uh, since they are brand new. I do want to get pictures uh, to put them up on the website here. The other thing I want to do is just uh, just make sure we have all the specifications. Uh, put the keys in the key box and little things like that that uh, you don't really think of when you're running a dealership. Alright, let's hop on in. Let's get this fired on up here. I will say, guys, these tractors are pretty handy. Although they are small, they could do a lot of work here. Sometimes these are for dairy farmers, maybe small landscape tree companies, and even for uh, ranches and even farmers uh, to have just something small to do a little bit of mowing, a little bit of front loader work. It's just a very versatile tractor here. And hey, I I'm always looking to sell some pretty cool tractors here. Now, guys, I've been thinking I do want to add one or two more brands here to the dealership. I was thinking Bobcat skid steers and just Bobcat equipment since Bobcats are pretty popular and uh, there is no dealership within I believe 300 miles of us so I think that is a pretty good opportunity here. The other one I'm not exactly sure what brands maybe uh, some other smaller uh, brands if you guys have any ideas please let me know here but I'm gonna go uh, put the keys in the key box make sure these are up on our website so anybody shopping online can see them. It looks like a customer just arrived here. Let's get out from behind the computer and let's give him a hand. Good morning, sir. How can we help you today? Oh, you run a landscaping business? You're looking for mowers? Yeah, we actually have several John Deere mowers. They're actually inside the uh, showroom, so why don't we take a quick look at them? 
Here in the showroom, we carry four different types of lawnmowers. We have a walk behind, we have a stand on, we have the 72 inch, and way back over there, we have the terrain cut here. So do you have a specific uh, type of lawns you mow? So a little bit of commercial, uh, but mainly residential here. How much acreage uh, per uh, lawn are you looking at? A half acre to uh, three quarters of an acre. So I would really recommend uh, the stand on mower and also that zero turn mower. This walk behind is for the smaller ones. It has a top speed of six miles per hour. That terrain cut is for, uh, let's say, golf course size or big, huge uh, campus or uh, something like that here. So how many mowers are you looking for one or two today? Oh, two. Well, I think we have two here that uh, definitely are going to work for you. Here we have the John Deere stand on mower. It's the uh, 648 model here. It's a 52 inch stander and this has a Kawasaki 35 horsepower. So it is pretty powerful. We do have the option for a bagger, a shoot blocker. You could take that shoot off and uh, you guys uh, can also see that it has solid front tires. No worry about having those tires lose air in the back. It uh, does have air tires, but this has a very smooth ride and this can mow right around 13 miles an hour. Here's our biggest zero turn that we carry. It's the John Deere X99 4R. It's a 72 inch mower here, three blades on it. And this also has a 35 horsepower. I believe this one is also a Kawasaki. Yes, it is. And you can see it is pretty sweet here on it. Now, I will say if you buy either of the mowers, if you buy two today, we'll give you uh, two free sets of blades for both and we'll give you the oil for a free oil change. Awesome. Well, why don't we head to the computer? We could do the paperwork. Are you gonna finance it? Okay, uh, we, we should be able to call the bank and get everything and then it, I hope you get it loaded up. All right, so the mowers are loaded on up. Now I did put the blades on top of it in a cardboard box, so you should be good to go. And I also did throw in the oil for your first free oil change here. Now I will have to ask really quickly, what type of truck is this? Oh, this is the all new TOX 3500. Pretty sweet truck. Well, I gotta get back to work here. So I appreciate the business. Give me a call if you need anything and swing on by if you wanna buy another mower. All right, talk to you later. Well, we have another happy customer, guys, and we just sold two zero-turn mowers. So we actually need to uh, kind of order some more here for our showroom here. It's getting a little bit empty. Hey, that is a good problem to have here. Now, a few things, guys. That was over $25,000 worth of mowers. So it was actually a pretty good sale here. But I will have to say, guys, I did order some more parts here for the John Deere uh, Gator, for actually both Gators, some uh, salter for the back, plow for the front. And maybe that would actually help this sell a little bit quicker here. Or maybe a land landscaper a farmer is gonna find that having a, a snow pusher on this would come in pretty handy but I'm gonna get back on the computer hey I will actually order some uh, more mowers now that way we have them in inventory uh, since during the off season the uh, uh, landscapers lawn care uh, business owners like to keep buying Good morning, how can we help you, sir? Oh, you're here to look at the machine. Do you have a make and model? So it's a Kubota Skid SVL95. Awesome, well, let me go get the key to it, and uh, I will uh, go outside and let you take a look at it. All right, we have a customer here to take a look at the Kubota. I just went and grabbed the key here, and I think he's already taken a look at it here. So let's see if we can sell him on it. Now, this is a pretty fancy, but this uh, skid, guys, is 60 plus thousand dollars. So here's the key to it. If you want to hop on in, take a quick look here at it. So have you always been looking at Kubota, or are you just kind of shopping around? Oh, uh, you're only looking at this brand. Yeah, Kubota is really reliable. You can actually get it fired on up here. You could uh, kind of turn around and play with it. How do you like it? so far yeah it's a really good one now this is on the uh, larger scale uh, for the uh, Kubota size here so what do you think oh you already want to buy it well let's head inside it we'll do all the paperwork now are you gonna uh, pay cash are you gonna take a loan awesome uh, the bank's only a phone call away so we'll get you uh, helped out with that and then I will give you a free oil change with a Kubota and free service if you want to come on by on its first service hours awesome well let's go do that and I will get it loaded up Alright sir, you're all loaded up. 
Now I do have a quick question, uh, what's the make and model on this truck? So it's a 2014 Ram 3500 with the uh, Hemi. Wow, that's a pretty cool work truck and this is a flatbed. Uh, so you bought it as a regular pickup and uh, switch out the beds. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Here, well, uh, I will let you get that strap down and get on your way. Well guys, it's just around lunchtime, so I'm going to put down the camera and go grab a bite to eat. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video here at the John Deere dealership. It's been a busy morning, and hey, and more than likely it's going to be busy all day. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.